48 hours ago, we started the most physically demanding challenge we've ever done. Ooh. The Kilatoa Loop is a three day hike in Ecuador that would see us climbing mountains, getting lost. Ah, oh, man, I hope we get there. <laughs> traversing several different landscapes and making some new friends along the way. This multi day adventure to the summit of one of the biggest crater lakes in the world begins in Sigchos. On day one, we shared incredible views with the locals and pitted maps.me against all trails. Our maps is telling us to go this way and theirs is telling them to go that way, so we're racing. As we made our way to the next town over 10 kilometers away. Day two, we started in high spirits. We were alongside animals and seemingly hiking through people's backyards, but it quickly became brutal as we climbed some intense elevation. This morning, we woke up and prepared ourselves for what would turn out to be the most challenging day yet. Today, we make it to the Kilatoa Summit. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to day three of the Kilatoa Loop. I cannot believe we're doing this again. We started the morning as we always have along this hike with an amazing included breakfast at the hotel. We got some fruit, a little sandwich and some eggs, which is great fuel for today because it's gonna be a big one. <laughs> today is the longest day we've ever done. This is now the same amount of kilometers as yesterday. We've gone over 12 Ks, but the elevation is almost a kilometer high as well. It's 980 something meters high. I think it said <laughs> seven or eight hours to complete it today. So even though we're starting early, we're probably not gonna get in until after five. Plus we're the tiredest we've ever been, the sorest we've ever been, and the highest elevation we've ever been. <laughs> and it's the windiest day we've ever had. So there's a lot of things going against us, but one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> like a proper pig. So even though we've started the day by going downhill and losing elevation, we are ending the day really, really high. I think it's 4,000 meters. I think so. 4,000 meters up. I do know that at sea level, the oxygen in the atmosphere that you're breathing is 20.9% and where we're finishing is 12.7%. Significantly less. So we are definitely anticipating it getting harder to breathe as we climb. Pretty though. As soon as we hit the uphill, jumpers come off. I'm feeling surprisingly good today considering it's day three. Mm. Like my spirits are still high, <laughs> but you can tell like the slightest uphill, you are tired instantly. Whereas on day one, it took a while. Yeah. That's okay. Still, views. Out of this world. One of Emily's favorite animals. <laughs> One thing I really like about this hike is that you're alone, but also kind of together. Like you hike alone for an hour, sometimes two, but then you get to the top of a ridge or something and you look back and you can see like ants, all the people following you or vice versa, the people ahead of you. It's nice. Good to reaffirm you're on the right way. You're going the right way. the first uphill section and I'm not gonna lie it was tough <laughs> the tiny uphill section We've got a big one coming up now it's like a slow incline there's a really steep bit and then it is a pretty steep incline for a long time
the epic drone stuff is going to be in the first and second day. So if you want that, go back and watch that. It's just too windy today. We're getting too high. I hate that we've gone so down far. So down far. Down so far that we're at river level. Because I know we have to go up way higher than this and way higher than we were. I'm scared walking backwards. <laughs> We've just met a local who said it's two and a half to three hours to get to the crater but it doesn't really make sense. Don't know if I believe him. Maybe for a local like powering through. Well, that definitely says this way. Yeah, we're once again ignoring the road signs and trusting the maps. It's worked out pretty good so far. I'm so tired. <sighs> I already can't wait for lunch. We have 4 hours 47 left. We've been going for two and a half hours. Hey. There are less spots to stop for lunch on day three. This does not beat day two lunch where we had a gorgeous dog in like a lush green field and a beautiful view. We do have a beautiful view, but it's windy as anything up here. Windy and dusty sums up day three so far. Mm. We'll be getting a pack. Maybe we'll have to go somewhere else. Popcorn, yogurt. Chocolate, an apple, and a sandwich. It's pretty good. As expected, lunch was way too windy to film <laughs> and not very comfortable. Oh my god. So we're gonna keep moving. Not gonna lie, day three has been pretty brutal. It's very tough. And none of the blog posts mention that it's tough. They're all like, yeah, it's easy. Even beginner hikers can do it. But it's quite strenuous and difficult for me anyway. And we're just about to start probably the hardest bit. We gotta go all the way up here. At least the view is going to be worth it, right? Hope so. Yeah. So far, day three views haven't been as good as day one or two, but the payoff at the end is supposed to be the best. So let's get hiking. The hike is always hardest after lunch. We did it! Oh wow. Ah. Whoa! That's a big crater. After three days, we finally made it to the summit. And it's beautiful. we did it. Neither can I. I feel like my body is starting to give up now. It's yeah. like my body knew that it just needed to get to the crater and now it's like you're here we're done. That has got to be one of the windiest places I've ever been in my life. So this volcano apparently is responsible for the biggest explosion in the entire world in the last thousand years. There has not been one bigger which is strange because you don't really hear about that. <laughs> Why are we here? According to maps.me, we're coming up to the tallest point of this entire journey. <sighs> I think it's going to be super windy up there again though. <laughs> the crater's beautiful. I just hate that I feel like I can't take it in because I'm trying to dodge the wind. This says only an hour and a half till we're at the hotel. Then dinner's included again. We must be coming up to the crater again because the wind has gotten out of control. Literally, once you get oh, once you get to the rim, it's like another two hours around the rim to get to the town. I feel like I can't even enjoy it because it's so windy. 
like we made it, we completed the hike, but this is so intense. This crater is enormous. I get that, a thousand years, biggest explosion on Earth. Apparently the lake as well, after you go down to meet it, it's 200 meters deep. I thought we were done with the uphill. Whew. Let's find our hostel. vlogs about the Kualatoa Loop make it sound like it's very easy and beginners can do it and I think beginners can do it but I think that that's a technicality because it is like roads or hiking paths the entire way there's no like ladders or ropes or chains you have to hold on to so technically speaking it's an easy hike like there's no technical bits that you have to get through but it is extremely difficult like it is hard work I'm out of breath I think we're the only ones here tonight so far yeah final thoughts on the Kilatoa trail it's tough it's tough, a lot of vlogs tell you it's not tough, but it is, but it is totally worth it. I think this is an awesome, I think this is an, <laughs> got so much wind here. I think this is an awesome introduction to multi-day treks. Like yeah. obviously we have nothing to compare it to, but the fact that you get to walk until a hotel, you have a bed, a warm shower, food, dinner and breakfast is included mm. every single time. It just makes it so much easier. You don't have to worry about something. For those thinking of doing it, day one is the easiest. <laughs> day two is really tough. And day three is also really tough, but in a different sort of way. It's just wind and heights. Day one, you're so excited and the views are incredible. Mm. So soak it up while you can. Day two, it's like you go through 50 different landscapes in one single day, but it is tough. Day three, honestly, the views are a bit lacking until you finally make it to the crater. Mm. Then it's all worth it. <sighs> now we're gonna get a bus back to Latacunga and then off to Banos. That's okay. You've been in the mud, buddy. You've been in the mud. Yeah. 